all right guys welcome back to smoke one if you have one my name is Eric and today we'll be reviewing Perdomo according to dreamer cigars he say Perdomo and the Cuban taste the same or the Perdomo tastes like a Cuban no the hell it doesn't Perdomo cigar does not taste like a Cuban cigar I just want to say all right so we're reviewing Bolivar Havana, Cuba. This is a Cuban cigar. Good looking band. The smaller size. I noticed that uh, Cuban cigars are smaller. But yeah. Uh, this is provided by Tony. The soy sauce assassin. And no, it's not fake. Alright. That's all, that's all I have to say. It's like a little, kind of like a box press, but it's not. Hey, that's it. Hmm, grassy pepper. That's it. All right, let's cut it and light it. Nice clean cut. The code drop. Jaw's really tight. Nothing much on her code draw. Alright, let's light it. Creamy hay. A little bit of space spice on the red on the pellet. Sweet vanilla hay. That's what it tastes like. It's a Cuban, alright. It tastes like one. More of that sweet vanilla hay on the retro hell with a tiny bit of baking spice. Very little. Very enjoyable. It's a sweeter note of hay. Tell the truth, so far I noticed Cuban doesn't transition. It's like you get what you get. You maybe get like a little amped, uh, amped up flavor in the final third or here and there. A little bit more spice or something like that. But it, stay, it stick with that sweet vanilla hay. A little bit earthy. And that's it for the fuel puff. I'll see you guys at the end of the first third. Alright guys, welcome back for the end of the first third. So <clears throat> it tastes like a Cuban. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to explain it. It tastes like a Cuban, right? It's a Cuban. They have one note. Actually, yeah, it's, it have that vanilla hay sweetness on the pellet and the retro hell and a little bit more earthiness on the pellet, a little bit of chocolate, tiny bit of coffee. Uh, and on the retro hell, there's also a little bit of a, uh... hold on a second. Cuba. Okay, also have a little bit of black pepper spice and it have that that Cuban finish. I call it Peter Sure or Peter Light. The one for the baby drink. You have that kind of finish. If you know what I'm talking about, you ever drink one. It 
Other than that, nothing much to talk about or to say actually. That'll be it for the first third. I see you guys at the end of the second third. Alright guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the second third. And surprisingly, nothing changed. <laughs> Actually, toasted graham cracker. A little bit of nuttiness. That puff was kind of different, right? Eh? See that sweet vanilla, vanilla, vanilla sweet hay in the retro hell with red pepper spice now? Wow, that, that puff just make me look stupid like nothing changed. Ugh. <gasps> Fucking telling me different. Okay. And it's back to that sweet vanilla hay. I actually have a lot of more baking spice right now on the palette. Yeah. That's it. I do enjoy that sweet vanilla hay though. Yeah, that's good. That's I think that's what I'm gonna call it from now on. That distinct taste of a Cuban. Sweet vanilla hay. A little bit of coffee as well. Alright, let's take off this. No, never mind. Don't take it off, man. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of the cigar. Alright, guys, welcome back. We're at the end of the cigar. Good construction, great, good ash. Tight draw, but, you know, it's doable. Just don't smoke your Cubans very humidified. Make sure it's dry. Because the tight draw would kill you if you was, like, a little wet. Okay, here's the band. Bolivar, Havana, Cuba. But I thought I saw something, but okay. See what that have that finish of Peter Light? The sweet vanilla hay is gone. It's more earthy now. Earthy, uh, baking spice. Okay, maybe a tiny little bit of that sweet vanilla hay on the retro hell. Very little, very tiny, very sp small amount. You have to like, you know, it's there, but it's under everything else. Like the pepper, it's like a red pepper spice. Baking spice is all over the place. And that's it for the final third it's not very uh good at transitioning right the aroma coming off the tobacco is very very nice very enjoyable maybe a little bit mustiness that's it all right uh so i will rate the cigar from one to ten a five. It's a Cuban, right? It's not like just average. It's not something really good. That Pacquiao number two, Hoya de Monterey, that one was nice. That one was a really good cigar. This one, the Bolivar, Havana Cuba, it's an okay cigar. Average, you know. But the thing is, like in the US, if you really, really want to smoke a uh, Cuban, tell the truth, uh, other cigar is better but you know it is a bragging rights i would say just to smoke a cuban uh just to say you smoke it or have proved that you smoke it or whatever but after you smoke a few of it it literally it tastes like a cuban cigar there's no transition and stuff like that like if you smoke a lot of new world cigar and once in a while you pop in like a cuban it would change things up and you'd be like hmm something nice something different and stuff like that but if you just if you only could get New World Cigar, that's fine too. Those are really good cigars. The New World Cigar is a really good cigar. There's a lot of blends, a lot of stuff out there that would uh, you know uh, make a Cuban run for his money. But other than that, it's a good cigar. It's something it's just for me. I, I you know when you review a Cuban, 
Just like Tony say, it's a Cupid. You, you can't say much about it because there's only, it doesn't transition too much. It's like here and there, it's nice and sweet. And it's, you know, it, it's, I know it's hard to, for people to get their hands on. And like, oh, it's like, you know, this holy grail of cigars, like, and stuff like that. But yeah, but you can get some, smoke some. Please don't smoke fakes. Even though you are smoking a Cuban cigar, but they're fake of the brand name or whatever that you want to buy. Just make sure you travel, you get it yourself, you get to a reputable place as well. Other than that, like, I, I wouldn't go out there and order a cigar online because 99.9% .9 of it is going to be fake online. So the only way that I could get Cuban is I trust my friends that travels and go get it for me. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I see you next time. And check out our podcast. I leave with I will leave everything, all the links to our podcast in the description. And that'd be it. And I wouldn't say Cuban is overrated, but you don't you don't really have to seek out seek out for it. If it comes to you, nice, you know, smoke some. Alright.